फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट एन आर आईज एज वेल एज परसनस ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजन रिजाइडिंग एब्रोड फ्रिक्वेंटली वंडर ओफन अलाउड एज टू वाई इंडियंस हु परफॉर्म सो वेल इन सो मैनी फील्ड्स एब्रोड फोल्टर एट होम अफकोर्स द क्वेश्चनिंग इज अबाउट द एनवायरमेंट हेयर एट होम द ब्रीफ एंसर इज यस there are many problems we cannot overnight create an enabling environment that matches what is prevailing in some of the developed countries there are competing claims on our limited resources we need also to be cautious about emulating models of development that are alien to our cultural milieu or not in line with our level of development yet there is no denying there is need for change however as we approach the dawn of a new millennium our mission should be to bring about india's national renewal we must build an india all of us can be proud of where every individual exerts to the utmost and excels we need to provide the ambience where excellence can thrive in going about this exercise the views of nris could be of much importance you have already shown a great spirit of adventure and perseverance in establishing a base for yourselves in the countries you are living in seeing india from outside you may be in a position to give us a more objective assessment and advice we shall therefore set up a suitable mechanism a forum in the government for effective ongoing consultation with nris the indian investment center will also be strengthened and restructured to enable it to address the investment concerns of the nris in a more effective and focused manner persons of indian origin who have settled abroad are as diverse as the people in india itself while they may not need any economic support there are educational cultural and other needs which are voiced from time to time in pursuance of the announcement made by the finance minister in his budget speech we have decided to implement a scheme for issuance of a person of indian origin card for those living abroad and having foreign passports the pio card would be extended to persons of indian origin settled in countries to be specified by government the card would confer upon them a range of special benefits which would include a visa free regime and several other facilities now very broadly a pio card holder will enjoy parity with nris in respect of all facilities presently available for acquisition and transfer of immovable properties in india admission of children to educational institutions in india and under the various housing schemes of central and state government agencies the details of the scheme have been worked out and will be announced very shortly there has been a long standing demand of our nri brethren to provide for dual nationality for people of indian origin settled abroad this idea needs to be considered in depth 
before a clear cut policy can be formulated and translated into legislative and administrative action public opinion has also to be taken into account the government will therefore appoint a committee to hold wide consultations elicit public opinion examine the pros and cons of different options and to formulate recommendations on the question of dual nationality or any suitable variant this committee shall give its report within 3 months i am given to understand that nris who receive dividend on non repatriable investments are sometimes being required to furnish an undertaking that they will pay tax if required to along with a certificate from a chartered accountant this is an aberration since we know that dividend in the hands of individual investors is now no taxable in india if more information about this is given to the finance minister we will redress the situation for years there was strong criticism of the draconian foreign exchange regulation act my government therefore introduced a bill in the parliament to replace fera by a more liberalized and progressive foreign exchange management act i understand however that there are reservations about some clauses in the proposed fema particularly those relating to the definition of resident i assure you that we will initiate discussion on this issue and resolve the genuine apprehensions of the nris in this regard i am particularly happy to note that this conference is focusing on non resident indians as potential investors and entrepreneurs nris are doing very well in their respective fields by dint of their hard work and intelligence they have made their mark in highly developed and competitive countries despite the handicap of being outsiders they have substantial financial assets but equally or more importantly brains they are a brain and talent bank we all know that in the developed countries particularly in the uk usa and europe nris have achieved recognition and commendation because of their world class technical and management skills now stop